the use of these drone weapons really violates many of the fundamental principles for the ethical use of force and also undermine many of the international legal provisions that have been established over the years to try to control and prevent the use of armed force. Also are not in the strategic interests of the United States, that is to say they don't really advance uh, U.S. security. If I could work backwards on those concepts, uh, we're told that the use of drone warfare is necessary to counter al-Qaeda uh, and the terrorist threat. Uh, but evidence that's been released recently shows that as few as 2% of those who have been actually targeted by these drone weapons are al-Qaeda-related militants. Very few of those people being killed are actually the terrorists who are connected to those who attacked the United States in 9-11. It appears that we are just killing the foot soldiers in the insurgencies in Yemen and Pakistan and Somalia and other places. Uh, so we're basically involving ourselves in these wars within countries where we really have no strategic interest, where we have no moral or legal authority to decide who should be in power or not, uh, and we don't have a basis for conducting war in these kind of settings. But our government says that these weapons are extremely accurate and precise, and granted they are more precise than conventional bombing, uh, but we are still killing innocent civilians. There have been reports, quite recently in fact, of the bombing of, for example, a wedding party in Yemen, in which some women and children were killed. And the fact is that we really don't know what's going on with this weapon that's being conducted. This campaign is being conducted in secrecy. The government's not providing information. Even the members of Congress who are supposedly providing oversight for the use of these weapons have very little information as to what's happening. This is really uh, contrary to ethical and legal principles. It's not in the interests of the United States. And there is now a growing debate in Congress uh, for more information to be provided by the federal government. Uh, for example, there was an amendment offered. I'm not sure whether it was actually approved by Congress. The amendment would say administration, the U.S. government, needs to at least provide information on who is being attacked. Just the simple fact of who are the people that we are targeting with these strikes. But more importantly, we need to, I think, bring an end to this drone warfare. It does not advance our interests. It violates ethical and legal principles. And it's really undermining our standing and moral image in the rest of the world. Uh, this is not helping us. It's actually weakening our position and creating more enemies uh, who may someday uh, have hatred toward us and even be part of these militant movements.